Okay, guys, this one is similar to the one we had yesterday. <clears throat> it was starting to pump down in heat, but um, this one I tried to charge and the charge did not keep it from pumping down. I had a restriction at the piston. So we're gonna operate on this one. Here we go. All right, let's get our <clears throat> recovery started. All right, got that flowing. Let's get this started. Getting there. Let it run for just a little bit longer. All right, we, we are into negative now. See if we can't self purge. All right. Alrighty, I got that exposed so I can get to it. I still have some old trapped refrigerant in the accumulator and probably in the bottom of the compressor too. Let's get that dryer out and then we're gonna look at that piston. I do have nitrogen flowing. piston is what I'm most concerned about if there's something in it I want to see it but first I'm gonna get this dryer out of here I think I'm gonna cut this piece right here wages a piece of three eighths to go in place of all that. Let me see here. What's the best place? I'm sure I'm thinking about getting away from this valve right here. Mm 
There is a connection right here, but that 3 8 reduces down to fit inside of 3 8 I'm just going to stay away from that joint. This is big enough for... smokes all right that's where my restriction was I got to get that open I think I did an acid test on this to make sure there was no acid in the system I was afraid that the liquid line dryer was starting to break apart and clog this up Yep, there's a piston up in there, at least it looks like. Sure does look like there's one up in there. Yeah, there's one in there. It don't look clogged. Hmm. 
No, that's open. I'll tell you what, let's all. While I got this open, let's. Which way should I blow it out? Let's blow it. Let's do it both ways. Ain't gonna hurt. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Still just as loose as it can be.
Okay, nice and tight. Now, let's get us a, a little piece of 3 8 Bend it around and put that back in. Then we'll solder in a dryer and start to pull a vacuum on this. past 90 Started, close it all the way. Tighten down. First, I'm just gonna put the very tip in there. Now the whole thing. I turn it every so often and do a little bit at a time because I'm trying not to split it of course if you heat this up you don't have to get it too hot it bends much easier I mean even after it cools down it bends a lot easier without splitting All right, that's good. That's going to be just right. <clears throat> All right, let's give this a shot. Hmm. 
All right. I got this one on the very bottom a little too hot. Oh, that looks good. The one on top looks really good. I'm going to retouch up the one on the bottom. Try to run that around to the bottom a little bit better. It's not much solder down there. Oh yeah, I got a lot more down there now. Y'all see where I got it too hot and it burnt the copper a little bit? Everything looks nice and soldered up though. <clears throat> If y'all can see this joint here. That looks really good. Alright, now to put me in a dryer. Right here. Alright, now let's get us a dryer in. Hold on. That looks like half inch. Yeah, that's half inch. Let me go get better. All right, we need to cut about right here. There we go. Alright, let's get the solder in that in. 
the solder, the sparker. All right, here we go. All of that looks solid, every bit of it. All right, let's do a pressure test. And um, because I have nitrogen flowing, I'm a little bit worried about some of these joints. Turn off our torches. watch those two spots although those are the two I'm most secure about I found this on the web. go away Looks like I got that hot anyway, even though I had that here too. You see that? That's just nitrogen coming out.
Let's see if I can hook things up. Let's just go ahead and replace that one. Vacuum up to this. And hook our manometer up to this. doing it this way because the way this is set up it's a little difficult to hook it up the way you want already have my contactor disconnected. I hook up my neutral and my ground first in case there's something that could short. in my ballast. Now remember I had oil trapped refrigerant in the accumulator and probably in the compressor too. Alright we got this open, 
I'm waiting for that to show some microns before I turn off my ballast. All right, just starting to show microns and I turn my ballast off. Hopefully this won't take too long. All right, we've been going about 20 minutes now, 20, 25 minutes. And um, I'm down to 840, but it seems like it's going down pretty quick. So hopefully not too much longer. I'm down to 654, but things have slowed down significantly. <clears throat> it's going to take me a while to get to 500, and I know it's because of that oil-trapped refrigerant. But we're getting there. Hey guys, I actually left and came back. My micron, like an hour later, my microns... We're below 500 it rose to about 600 and after 10 minutes it has not risen any higher so I'm going to leave it just like that and we're fixing to charge it put Freon back to it let's get all this hooked back up Some zip ties. get some refrigerant into this so we can get our Schraders in alright that is a little bit loose open those up zero that we are going to okay now We've got approximately two and a half pounds in it. There we go, two and a half. <clears throat> I think it's time to turn it on. But first, let's let's look and see what my 
my charge is supposed to be a hundred and forty ounces let me see one forty divided by one six eight point seven five so eight pounds twelve ounces <clears throat> is what I need let me go get my other drum real quick and We'll get this thing started up. Okay, right now I've got the cooling turned on. Let's get all the refrigerant. Now, last time when I tried to charge it, I started having a really high head pressure and my compressor was clicking and I had very low function. All right, I turned it on in cool for a reason. That's because it's already 76 degrees in there and I don't want to turn it up and have the heat strips come on. I don't want it to satisfy. If I ever have to come back to this one, and I'm thinking I might because that refrigerant charge is low, I'm going to have an easier time because I put this dryer out here. Have an easier time because I put this dryer out here. All right, we're two pounds, 14 ounces. Let's just say three pounds right now. Two ounces off. So I need five pounds, 14 ounces. It is running in heat. It's 76 degrees inside. See my head pressure and my sub cooling. I'm getting close to my five pounds, 14 ounces. And it sounds like I'm about to empty that drum. Sub cooling at about 10 degrees. I am dead on the money on the waiting in charge. That is a good pressure for 76 degrees inside. And you hear my compressor's not clicking anymore. I may schedule, a, if I can, to come back and do a leak search on this one because I did have to add a significant amount. But I was able to pull it down to 500 microns, so We'll see. But it did take me an hour and a half. All right, this one's almost done.
restriction problem was remedied. It's not restricted anymore and it's heating and running like it's supposed to. But I had to add probably three pounds more than what I thought I should have. Anytime you open a system, you're going to lose a little bit of Freon, but you shouldn't be losing five pounds. So we are going to go back and do a, a leak search on that one. Even though I was able to get it down to 500 microns, um, I'm a little bit worried about that thing leaking. So I'm going to go back and do a leak search on another day. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.